Hey guys, super aging guy. I am here in Portland, Oregon today doing another house tour of this super unique home behind me. It's pretty neat and we're gonna head on in and take a look at it. All right, a little bit of the outside first here. Um, we are on a dead end street. Just past this brush here is awesome views of Portland, Oregon. This house is super unique. We do have a two car garage here. Like I said, uh, we are on a dead end street. So shout out to the listing agent. Thank you for letting me take a look at this today. Let's head on inside. All right, walking into this house here. It is listed at $2 million, 4180 square feet, four bedroom, three bathrooms. First thing you notice when you walk in here, we got stairs going up and we got stairs going down. The stairs leading up here take you up to the kitchen and the living area. We'll get to that. But first I'm gonna explore the, the floor that we come in on here through the front door. Let's get a good look at the views out there. So as you come in the front, the master is on what would be this main level, this middle floor of this home. We do have a bedroom right here. Master is right here. Does have a gas fireplace over there. And this one is all about the views. It is pretty cool, so. All right, continuing on in the master. So the master bathroom is through this uh, opening here, which is a really new, unique feature. You have the bathroom in there, the vanity, uh, the shower. So if you're taking a shower, you could literally look out and have these awesome views at the same time. Kind of crazy. Really big uh, closet here. Lots of shelves. Lots of pull-out drawers here. Plenty of space to hang shirts. Baskets here. Shoes. It's a pretty good sized closet for sure. Right off the closet is the bathroom. We do have the double sink vanity. We have the big soaking tub right here, jetted tub. Again, looking out through that window, cool views. Big walk-in shower here. Got a place to sit down. Rainfall shower. Very nice, toilet there in the corner. All right, back out. This is that front door that we came through, big tall front door. Uh, I really like the look of these stairs. Um, they are the wire and the metal and it just looks great. Fits this house great. On this main level here, we have um, another bathroom right here. We do have the washer and dryer right here with cabinets above. Let's take a look at this bathroom. Single sink vanity, shower and tub, and toilet in here. Big tall ceilings in every room in this uh, home. Right off this bathroom here, we do have another bedroom with another walk-in closet. Good sized bedroom. Looks like it's got crown molding up top there. So another cool feature about this house is, as I showed you all the stairs coming in, there's the front door, you got stairs going up, you got stairs going down. It does have an elevator over here. Um, that goes from this floor all the way to the garage. Very cool. Heading on upstairs. On this top level here, we come into the kitchen, the main living area with great tall windows looking out again, uh, getting the most out of those views. Coming through the living room here, great tall windows and just spectacular views. You do have a gas fireplace here. Remember the master bedroom had one as well. Cabinets here, um, games, movies, whatever you'd like. And then you do have this patio deck that leads out. Really awesome views. 
park down there. Again, we're uh, dead end street here. Up on into the kitchen. Dining room, formal dining area here. You do have another door that goes out that side. Here in the kitchen, great big island. We have um, cabinets here, drawers here. Um, we built in Viking refrigerator, very top of the line appliances, uh, Viking is. We have a six burner gas stove, double oven, dishwasher. Pretty spectacular view um, just from this kitchen here itself. You could be making dinner and you have just a phenomenal view. You have the river, you have 205, you can see the cars going over. Uh, you have excellent mountain views in the background. It's kind of hard to tell, but beautiful mountain views. We also have another uh, living area, family space. These two living spaces aren't too uh, far apart from each other. You can see that one's just down past the dining area. Up top there, we have uh, what they're using as a gym space. So big uh, open room, there's gym equipment up there. You could have an office up there. Down this set of stairs, we do have another bathroom and another bedroom. Let's go ahead and take a look at that gym uh, space that they have upstairs here. Got their TV up here. This is definitely a great spot to sit here and work out. Um, just a cool space to have in this home for sure. So one thing I would like to talk about, this home is basically built near the side of the hill. This home doesn't have a big yard. It has small outside spaces. It has decks and things like that, but it doesn't have a big yard and it's not meant to. It's built into the hill and this home is all about the views, which you can see here with that wraparound porch in the front. Very neat. Let's head on downstairs. All right, back into where we came in the front door. We have another set of stairs that goes down. Downstairs we have the garage and we're gonna head down there and take a look at that now. All right, heading into the garage space. We do have a oversized two car garage. They've got some storage in here, um, electrical panels, things like that, just a typical garage. And it does look like they have an extra washer and dryer set up here as well. So down here in the bottom floor, we have some, um, some of the guts of the home, so to say. We have the furnace, we have the water heaters, and we do have the elevation shaft right here. Hey guys, thanks for watching this tour. This house has awesome views, uh, really neat layout, just a very unique house overall. I'm gonna leave you with, it, with these views today, and I hope to see you on the next video. Catch you then.